A bilateral laminotomy is a minimally invasive procedure used to relieve pain and weakness caused by narrowing of the spinal canal, a condition called spinal stenosis. At Swift Institute, we prefer this less invasive approach over open laminectomy, which causes more bone and tissue trauma. Spinal stenosis is defined by the excessive bone and ligament growth of the spinal canal. This results in narrowing, which compresses the nerve roots leading to shooting pain down the back and legs and possible numbness and weakness. Using fluoroscopy, a special type of X-ray, the treatment region is located and a small incision is made on the patient's lower back. To access bone, a set of tubular dilators is passed down to the spine, splitting the overlying muscles. At Swift Institute, we use a custom retractor to provide optimal visualization after the dilators are removed. In a bilateral approach, the retractor can be angled to allow the surgeon access to both sides of the spine with less disruption of muscle tissue resulting in less pain post-surgery and a quicker recovery. Once the spine is exposed, a tiny amount of the lamina, the bone structure that protects the nerve roots, is removed using a microdrill in a procedure called a laminotomy. At this point, a microscope is brought in to magnify the surgical field. In cases where bone spurs and excessive ligament cause pressure on the spinal nerves, removing the lamina and ligament can achieve decompression of the nerve roots. The retractor is angled in a bilateral approach, and the spinous process is undercut in order to access the lamina on the other side. A portion of the opposite thickened ligament is also removed to alleviate nerve pressure. If necessary, multiple levels may be prepared through the same small incision. At Swift Institute, the muscle and bone sparing techniques of a minimally invasive bilateral laminotomy are advantageous over more traditional open laminectomy as they allow for greater structural support, a shorter post-op stay, less risk of instability in the long term, and quicker return to activity.